Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, I'm gonna basically take you guys into Logic Pro's uh, Audio Effects folder and uh, show you open up my Waves folder and show you guys a Waves plugin called the Sound Shifter Pitch. I'm gonna basically show you guys what kind of options it has to uh, offer. Basically, show you guys a, a little bit more about the uh, plugin, get you guys a little bit more familiar with it, because that's my ultimate goal here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because later on in my future videos, I'm gonna go in and show you guys how I actually use this on a vocal and show you guys how to get the best optimum results out of it but for right now i'm just going to show you guys how to get to the get to the um, uh, plugin please keep in mind that you do have to have a, a purchased uh, plugin in order to open this i'm going to go to audio effects audio units down to waves <coughs> we're going to go to sound shifter pitch we're going to open it up and it's going to look a little something like this basically what it does is it just changes the pitch on your vocal so you can go to a low pitch or you can go to the highest pitch that sounds like a mice uh, like sounds like a mouse or down to the lowest pitch which sounds like a monster basically you can do it in semitones you can do it in scents um uh gives you frequency uh, frequency uh um uh, option destination option uh it gives you intervals third second uh tritone whatever you guys want you guys can have a mode or transient or smooth or sync or punch, uh, and, it, and it'll give you the ratio. Or you guys can just do it manually here by clicking on the ratio. I suggest you guys go in, try it out for yourself, see what kind of cool effects you guys can get out of it. And uh, if you guys can't seem to get a crack at it, I'll show you where I use it in the mix and when I open it. Uh, this is basically a sound shifter pitch overview. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.